the more things change, the more they remain the same. The year was 1973 when I began my career as a filmmaker. My first film, Manzile Aur Bhiye, came into problem with the censors. It was refused certificate for trying to subvert the institution of marriage. After a long 30-year career in the year 1998, when I hung my gloves as a director, my film Zakhm, which was autobiographical, also ran into trouble with the censors when we had the chairperson was our dear Asha Padikji. I had to fight with the government of the day and finally release my film at huge costs. Subsequently, the film got a national award for best film on national integration, and even Ajay Gore Award. But what was heartbreaking was what I was subjected to. The year is 2016. India has entered a new age. There are more young people today speaking a different language, globally connected, having aspirations to match the mightiest nations in the world. On my right is Ali and Shayad. On the left is Zoya. Ekta sits behind me. They are the people who are the future, who dream larger dreams than we dreamt. All our talk of growth and progress is poppycock if the perfume of freedom which the founding fathers gifted to us is taken away. Do you want to make India into a Saudi Arabia where there's opulence, wealth, but not the most prized asset, the right to free thinking? A society that does not respect free thought sows the seeds of its own destruction. And this is what is happening. I come here to stand shoulder to shoulder with the filmmakers and for my fraternity, and I'm very glad that such a mighty turnout is here. Because I think it's tragic that one of us, Pahlaj Nilani, till yesterday fought shoulder to shoulder with me against the laws of the censorship which impinged us. It is tragic that one of us goes and becomes the toady of some past which want to muzzle us. Nothing has changed. Nothing. In 73, my film was stopped in the emergency time. Today, it is tragic that as we inch towards release day, where the stars have gone out of the way and created a film which kind of holds the mirror, which shames our Indian society about the drug menace, is being strangulated. I think every freedom-loving individual must stand up and articulate his anger against this practice that's going on here in Bollywood. I feel the day is not far that if we keep silence, we would not be make, allowed to make films that look beyond the, the, the inane films that we made way back in time when all our narratives were reduced to just a boy meets girl story and they lived happily ever after. So I stand here to appeal to you to articulate our message because this is not the industry problem at all. This is a problem of our country. And I think as Dr. Ambedkar said, that freedom is a plan that we need to water individually every day. It's not guaranteed to us when we were born as a nation. This generation now, we all need to give our contribution to preserve this freedom. And that's what we are doing. And I will fight till my last breath to preserve the freedom of free thought. This is the land of Buddha. This is the land of Gandhi. And I dare anybody who can stop me from doing that. That's all I have to say. Thank you, my friends. Thank you.